For eight years, it has been a favorite of News Channel 5 viewers and one of NBC's most watched television shows. In tonight's cover story, Kim Hibbs takes us to Los Angeles for an exclusive behind-the-scenes look at ER. This is the side of ER most people see. We have heat exhaustion, barbecue, smoke inhalation, and boils. All up for grabs. I love my job. This isn't. Parker! Back run, moving! Go car, car! And no one, no one, no one! County General Hospital, a level one trauma center where doctors and nurses make life and death decisions every day. Okay, on my counter, everybody. No, one, two. Whole time spinal compression. A systole. Hyphen is suspended. Suction on high. Oh. The show is set in Chicago, but filmed in Los Angeles. All it takes is a few million dollars, a lot of fake snow, and even fake dirty cars to recreate a Chicago neighborhood. Say, on my count, full transfer compressions. You're off. Medical consultants are always around to recreate an emergency room where doctors and nurses look, act, and talk the part. Increased best sounds bilaterally. One of the normal things that we always say is how doll. But for some reason in my mind, I started saying it, you know, hall doll. And, you know, our consultant was right there. ER remains a Thursday night staple, always ranking at or near the top of the weekly ratings. We just happened to come on the air at a time where health care was a very topical issue. We were a young cast. We were a relatively unknown cast. And uh, the pace of the show was very different than anything else that had been on TV at the time. Carter, MVA two minutes out. Dr. John Carter, played by Noah Wiley, is the only original cast member who's never left the show. The group, the, the actors coming in and all, and some of the changes have come in seamlessly, it seems like. Well, I think this is a dynamic that lends itself very well to cast changes, because you do see a lot of turnover in hospitals. So it's, it's regular that you would see new faces rotating through as... Uh, students go on their rotations and as doctors go through their internship or through their residencies. It's actually very rare that you would find the same group of people working in the same hospital for as long as we all did. Do you have time for a consult? Fourth year medical student Michael Gallant, played by Sharif Atkins, is new to the show. Show it to us! Atkins says he's having a ball. Not bad. Despite the pressure of being the new kid on the block. It's the added pressure of uh, being able to kind of run with the big boy, so to speak, you know. Uh, but also, I mean, it's a little safety, you know, net. And, you know, you're joining a number one show, so, I mean, you got to really be, you got to suck to really bring it down, you know what I mean? Needs to be clear medically before we move them upstairs. I could go up at any minute. As the show continues to evolve and characters continue to change, the role of Paul McCrane is also changing on the set of ER. So, Weaver, we're clear. Sign out all the Demerol and morphine. To who? You and me and my Uncle Bernie. What am I? To. Get the hell out of here. Hello? Who's this? The cantankerous oh, Dr. Like Robert Dr. Romano will be absent from at least one episode this year, so Paul McCrane can make his directorial debut. In that take, we saw Noah, the car went through, and then we picked him up again. Well, we shouldn't have done that. Well, right, that's all I'm saying. If we can, also, I think, might help you a little bit. Yeah. Help us a lot. <laughs> what will you take? from your role in the show that'll make it easier for you as a director? Actually, the, the really, more than from this character, just from being an actor, you kind of get used to taking risks and sort of, in the face of terror, uh, forging ahead. So um, that's what I've done so far. Action! He's been tremendously underutilized on this show through the last few years. Cut! Uh, whenever he does have something to do, he nails it. Cut! Take after take after take. All right, let's try it again. And I think he'll bring that same sense of professionalism and, and attention to detail to his work as the director. And except for the fact that he had me running my ass off all over here this morning, it seems to be going really well. <laughs> yes, things are going really well at County General, and there's no reason that should change. In Los Angeles, Kim Hibbs, News Channel 5 cover story. Clint, uh, that's it, we're done, thank you. And did you know it takes eight days to shoot just one episode of ER? And over the past eight years, the show has been awarded eight Emmys. For more behind-the-scenes pictures, you can visit our photo gallery on our website, ksdk.com.